Hello everyone, my name is Judith Meyer and I'm a hyperpolyglot based in Berlin and the author of the script hacking method. I have read literature in 12 languages ranging from Greek to Chinese and it has always been my passion to help people learn to read another, al another alphabet or another writing system. That is why I have devi devised these uh, script hacking books for Greek, Hindi, Russian, Hebrew, Korean, Arabic and Persian always working with native speakers, of course. What is the script hacking method? Uh, it is based on an optimizing computer algorithm, which uh, tries to find as many words as possible for you to read with a limited set of letters. So you learn one letter, you practice with some words, you learn another letter, uh, you have even more practice. And as you go on and on, you wind up reading about 600 words um, by the time you have learned the last letter. This gives you a, a great uh, head start when it comes to reading fluency in your target language and, of course, also pronunciation, because all of these words uh, come with audio recordings by native speakers. So let's try this in practice, so just a very short and abridged view of what this might mean. So for Greek, which we have here, uh, this is the letter O, and of course, the exclamation is O. Uh, there are also several more letters which are basically the same as in English, as you can see here. This is the word Cacao, cacao with an accent uh, on the A. The accent just indicates the stress. You don't have to concern yourself with it at this point. Uh, then there is tic tac. This is the sound of a clock uh, in Greek, tic tac. Uh, the next word includes an extra letter that you haven't seen yet. It's the letter rho, uh, which is the Greek R. Uh, and the country name is, of course, Iraq. Sorry. Um, here we have a city name. Can you read it already? It's in Egypt. The city is Cairo. Then uh, a few other cognates. This is the word Carta. And down here, it's spelled differently, but if you sound it out, you can get it. It's Kari. Well, the Greeks would say Kari and you would probably say Curry. So you can see that uh, the kind of words that I use should be familiar to you. And that is what, make the, uh, what makes this uh, method so special, because you can really focus uh, on learning to read the alphabet and on learning the pronunciation. And after that, uh, you go on to learn uh, words and uh, vocabulary that will be harder to memorize. So uh, I hope that um, you will check out these books. I don't have time now for a uh, longer pre presentation, but uh, you can find me on YouTube uh, and on Twitter as German Polyglot uh, or on Facebook as uh, Judith Meyer. And if you contact me, I will be happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much and have a good day.